Happy Monday, everyone. If there's one system that you want to set up to duplicate team success, then it's today's tip that I'm going to share with you that you will want to make sure that you have in place from the duplication formula. I'm Gail Bates. I'm CEO and mentor of MyMentorBiz.com, and I help leaders grow million-dollar teams. We work with systems and strategies to help them scale and grow their business. And one of the big systems I work with is the Calendar Club team booking system. It's all about working and supporting and encouraging your team to have booking success. And when they have booking success, they uh, are all thriving because that's the business model of our business, the party business model. So uh, we've been working on a duplication formula, okay, that, and I'm going through a series that I want you to share with you. Um, and my lighting today is not that great, but hopefully I'll get it a little better. Um, so we've been going through this duplication series because when you have systems in place and you are very confident with how you are growing your business as a leader and you duplicate what you are doing, that's the essence of having a successful team. The team knows what to do because you have set up these systems for them. So we're into actually step five of the duplication formula. Um, we started out with step one, which was setting the pace. And if you want to go back and watch each one of these videos, they're all on my YouTube channel so that you will get the, and some people actually go back and watch them in series at a time so that they get the whole gist of it. But setting the pace was step number one for the duplication formula. This is where you work on the pace of your own personal business. You work on the pace of how consistent you are in booking, having a calendar full of bookings, and actually uh, working on your own recruiting system yourself. Moving along at a steady pace with your personal business is setting up what I call the duplication formula. Step two, we talked about a um, communication strategy with your team. And that communication strategy, if you go back and watch that, it's all about how to communicate with your team uh, daily, what's the best way to do that, weekly and monthly, okay? Because when you're con you have that consistent communication with your team, they know you're there to support them. Now, in the third step, we talked about the team booking calendar. And that's where the calendar club system comes in. When you have everyone on the team booking and you're um, able to reward and uh, praise and um, recognize all the successes with their bookings and people are communicating about their bookings, that's a great system because everybody grows. That's one of the biggest ways I grew my million dollar team myself. If you're here watching today, send me a like, let me know you're on. Hey, Karen. That's okay, Karen. Glad you got on today. So step number four was uh, last week, we talked about the CC culture on your team. Go back and watch that one. It's all about what I call a coffee chat culture. It's helping your team members with a specific technique on letting them know how and, and training them on the best ways to share the business opportunity. So that's part of the duplication formula. So today we're talking about an NR system, a new recruit system. And as I said earlier, if there's one system you want to have in place for uh, to duplicate your team, you really want to make sure that you have a new recruit system in place. And I dedicate a whole section in the calendar club team booking system to this new recruit system. It's really important. So of course, you want to have a specific way that you welcome every new recruit onto your team. I call it a burst of welcome, okay? And whether that's a phone call or whether that's an email, um, and of course, inviting them into your team Facebook group, okay? Uh, it is really important for you to have that burst of welcome system, how you do that with every new recruit that they come on board. 
And then there are five steps that I recommend you do with a new recruit. The first one is to make sure she's holding a launch party and getting herself up and running. She's going to need some direction on that. Now, if you're the sponsor, you might want to go to that party and actually help her with it. If you're the leader, you want to make sure she has the information on how to hold a successful launch party. And then step number two is about making sure she understands how to get bookings on the calendar and having at least four bookings in that first month so that she will be successful. You want to set her up for success. So that's part of the system. And invite her to, be, to come on board with your team booking calendar. And the third step, um, hi Casey, glad you're here today. Um, the third step is making sure they understand each one of those 30, 60, 90 day fast start rewards. Everyone on your team must be earning those fast start rewards, okay? Making sure they understand how much sales is involved, if there's a recruiting uh, element to it, what is in it for them to earn that fast start reward. Step number four is, is inviting them to share the business opportunity with a friend. When you ask them to share the business opportunity with a friend, very often many new recruits recruit new recruits in the first 90 days. And step number five is about uh, making sure they attend your new recruit training. That means they are fully versed in how to get up and running because they have now gone through a small training with you. And I don't mean individually, I mean a new recruit group training, okay, where each uh, they come on board and they meet other new recruits and it really builds excitement in your team. But again, this is a system. This is part of duplicating uh, a, a system on your team so others will follow what you do. Making it simple, is the key okay and of course tracking your new recruit and touching her i recommend you have a binder with each new recruits um, a profile in there and making sure that each one of those new recruits are um, um, you're tracking each one of these steps with a new recruit that's duplicating success on your team okay that's making sure every new recruit is up and running in that first 30 60 90 days hey Brittany glad you're here today okay so um, the duplication formula everyone following this these systems is really important setting the pace okay in your personal business having that uh, team communication strategy set up where you're communicating with your team uh, daily, weekly, and monthly, uh, making sure that you, everyone you and your team is on your team booking calendar, not just their own calendar, it's a calendar for the team, uh, which is the calendar club system. And number four, we're setting up that co coffee chat culture in your team in sharing the business opportunity. And number five today is having every new recruit come on board knowing having a simple path to follow knowing this to go through those five steps this is part of the duplication formula in you building a successful direct sales business next week we'll go through number six and then number seven okay but um, i wanted to make sure that today you understand how to set up the one system that's truly going to help you be successful the new recruit system. So thanks everyone for being on today. I'd love you to share with me what, how you bring on a new recruit. What is the best way that you welcome a new recruit? Do you make a phone call? Do you send an email? Do you just invite them to the team Facebook group? What is the way you bring on a new recruit and how do you welcome them? Because it's really important if you want to duplicate and grow your business. Have a great Monday everyone.